Hey guys, it's Davey here from phonebuff.com and in this video I just want to share with you guys how I set up my Android phone's home screen to be much more efficient than it was previously. So before I go into that, I want to show you guys what inspired me to uh, change my home screen setup and that's actually my Windows phone. After using this guy for a month, going back to my Android phone, I realized how much more efficient my Windows phone setup was or just Windows phone in general was than Android because the way the uh, home screen is set up. So for example, on Windows Phone, if I you know, have my phone locked and I wanna open up my calculator really quick, just unlock it, tap calculator, and I'm there. So you can see it's just really quick. That's why you know, you'll know you see Microsoft really pushing the idea that Windows Phone is quicker. They even have that, that uh, smoke by Windows Phone challenge at their stores where they'll actually pay you if you could open up a couple of apps or post things on Facebook faster than they could on their Windows Phone. So anyway, I wanna show you guys how I do it on my Android phone to make it as efficient as Windows phone, if not more efficient. Really, I feel like it's more efficient. So anyway, I'll go ahead and show you some of the folders that I've made. You can see I have eight app folders here, and I think harnessing the power of folders really is the secret to making your phone more efficient, um, and also widgets. But first thing I wanna talk about is folders. So instead of having a whole bunch of app shortcuts, for example, if these were just regular app shortcuts, I would only have eight, you know, and obviously I have uh, more than eight apps that I use on an everyday basis or you know at least every couple of days um, I would have to you know use other home screens if I didn't have this widget here um, and you know that just really kind of takes away from the efficiency I think because you know having to scroll through home screens to uh, get to what you want really defeats the purpose I mean you might as well be going through your app list looking for a specific shortcut so anyway um, I want to show you some of the folders I've made so for, for example I have a phone book folder right here um, just has the app related to phonebuff.com. So for example, if I wanted to edit a post on phonebuff.com, I could just quickly tap on this guy, tap on WordPress and edit my post. If I wanted to uh, open up my calculator, I could just tap on tools and tap on calculator. And I have a couple of other apps in here under tools. I have dictionary, flashlight, uh, notes, etc. Um, I have my finance app. So for example, if I wanted to check my balance at Bank of America, I could do that. Um, if I wanted to open up my camera or my gallery, I could just tap on media and go over here. So these are all these folders I made. I renamed them all uh, based off what I fit or what I thought best fit the category or the folder. Um, for example, one, one good example is the games folder. Um, I have 12 games right here and you know, it's just a heck of a lot easier finding what game I want to play if I'm bored, you know, at a dentist's office while I'm waiting in the waiting room, uh, instead of having to, you know, scroll through here and figure out, you know, what game I want to play, you know, based off looking at the shortcuts through my app list. So, Definitely just a more efficient uh, setup, I feel like. So for example, you know, I'll show you, you know, a practical use of it. So say I wanted to check the movie times, right? I could just unlock my phone really quick, go to my entertainment tab because I know it's there, tap on Flickster, and boom, I have my movie times and uh, the theaters near me. So just a really quick way, a really efficient way to use your Android phone. Um, there's also, you know, more things you can do with widgets. For example, if I want to see my 5-day forecast, I can just tap my widget right here, got my 5-day forecast. If I want to... Uh, make my brightness on my phone screen a little bit lower because my battery is dying, I can just quickly tap on this guy and change my brightness just by tapping this little widget. Um, also, let's say there's a Laker game going on, I wanted to see the score, I can tap on this guy and it'll open up Score Center, but not just Score Center, it'll actually open up the specific game. So right here you can see it opens up the card to that game. So another cool uh, feature of widgets, let's say for example I wanted to listen to music, I can just scroll over here tap play and listen to a song instead of having to scroll through my home screens or through my app list for the music player. Of course, I have my most commonly used apps right here at the bottom. So these are just regular app shortcuts. I could put folders here if I wanted to. Uh, so I could have you know a total of um, 12 home screens or folders but are on my home screen. But you know, I'm fine with eight because pretty much these cover what I'm looking for. For example, you know, I have entertainment, I have my finance apps, I have my media games, uh, email, I have a couple of email accounts and actual labels within those email accounts. So I can go straight to the label if I wanted to. Um, over here under settings, I have like my file manager, um, an app I have called Volume Plus, and also specific shortcuts to the settings. So not just the regular settings where you know I tap the sh settings and it goes here, but let's say for example, I wanted to see my battery stats or uh, you know how, how much battery I have left. I can just tap that and go straight to uh, my battery settings. So pretty cool feature on Android. You can just add shortcuts and you know add them into this little widget or this little folder and this makes everything uh, a little bit easier to get into. Alright, that's pretty much it for me in this video. I mean, hopefully I've given you an idea or two that you could use to uh, 
uh, make your Android phone a little bit more efficient. And maybe, you know, you could go to a Microsoft store and challenge those Windows phones and see if you could win yourself. I think they're giving away like a thousand dollar gift card right now. So anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful in any way, hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit phonebook.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.